All right, I've got another healing journey game for you guys. This is a, one way to do a candle meditation. Okay, so you got this burning candle here in front of you, right? Um, and you can do this anywhere, in, inside, outside, you know, any safe place that you can, you know, like burn candles or whatever. Okay, so you got a candle. Ideally, it's one that has like a good smell to it, right? So on your inhale, you smell the candle, and on the exhale, you watch the flame flicker. And the mindfulness practice of this, there's like a bunch of different features of it, okay? One is your eyes watch the flame. And in that, you're really bringing yourself into a space of centered grounding. Because um, the flame is right there, but it's got some movement to it. So it's engaging. You're not just staring at an inanimate object, but you're also not staring at something that's like moving a lot. So it's really the perfect amount of movement to engage yourself in grounded presence. It's very 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 relieving for subconscious parts for a lot of different reasons and in a lot of different ways in a lot of different kinds of circumstances okay so no matter what you're feeling or experiencing this practice can really bring relief to subconscious parts even if you don't know that they need relief okay so it's really good to do anytime for any reason okay and um and you'll want to be close enough that you can smell the candle but not so close that you're burning yourself with the flame <laughs> that's another aspect of the mindfulness stuff okay so you're not like way back here disengaged but you're also not like sticking your face right in the fire so that is another way to do mindfulness practices um, to have yourself at a fair distance of it because just the practice of being at a specific distance you're engaging yourself in the presence that can help deactivate stress responses and do all kinds of good stuff for you and continued practices helps rewire underlying causalities of implicit battles okay so in your inhale you're going to smell the scent of the candle and then the exhale you're going to watch the flame flicker as your air smooshes it but you got to breathe out really slowly so you don't blow the candle out okay so that's another little trick to it is you're breathing in really slowly so you can get all the good smell of it and then you're breathing out really slowly so you make the flame flicker but not so much that the flame goes out okay so you breathe in And then breathe out through your nose. And then you keep practicing that. And you can also put on some background music or affirmations or something. And then your ears are also kind of engaging in a, in a practice of presence. Um, and you can do this just for like 30 seconds to a minute. Or you can do it, you know, different kinds of candle practices for like 5, 10, 20, 30 minutes if you want. Um, Visually watching the flame flicker and focusing on your breathing is really, really profoundly powerful and can help with a lot of different kinds of stuff. And if you're experiencing intense dissociation or something and you don't feel comfortable being close enough that you can smell it, you can also sit back and rather than smelling it, you can just focus on breathing in and out and watching the flame. So that's another way you can do it. You don't have to be close enough that you can smell it if you're not comfortable with that. Um, you can also sit back and focus on just your breathing in general while your eyes watch the candle. And again, if you want to put on some background music or affirmations or something, you can totally do that. Um, this is also another way if you want to do a guided meditation but you're not comfortable closing your eyes because a lot of stuff comes up, then you could have the guided meditation playing while you sit here focusing on your breathing watching the candle. And then you're soothed and in the present moment and there's not a lot of stimulus but it's enough to keep you here. And then you can follow along with the guided meditation with your eyes open in that way. So a lot of different ways you can play with this. Um, you can do it in the morning when you wake up. You can do it while you eat one of your meals in the day. You can do it before or after you shower while you're in the bathroom. Um, you can do it in a lot of different ways um, and for any length of time. So please feel free to play with this and if you want to you're welcome to share about your experiences in the comments below. I love you guys and I hope you have a beautiful and blessed day soul friends.